Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today continuing in the series of swing cards and this is the last one. If you've missed any then I'm linking them all in the description and there's also a playlist now called swing cards so you can catch up on all of them. So this one is a double. So ta -da! So it's really cool because when you open these up this section here completely flips around so it does completely swing around and on the other side as you can see I decided to leave the pattern the same but you could easily mat and layer these inside pieces like I have the outside to make it look really different and they're going to be great with your die cut stamping just your paper pads which is what this is so really really cool to do I'm going to explain how to do this size so this starts off at 12 by 6 and ends up closed at 8 by 6 and it's all dead center one inch cuts and scores all around so really simple to do so we'll get started and do that I'd just like to say a massive thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel and liked, commented and even shared. So that's really kind of you and I really do appreciate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom out so you can see the whole of my paper trimmer. So just bear with me while I do that. Right, got my paper trimmer into position. Now it'd be a good idea to write these measurements down I think. So what we're going to do is we've got our 12 by 6, obviously we've got the 6 at the top here. And we're going to do a one inch border. So I've set a one inch border here on this side of the trimmer. Now you can easily do this with a craft knife, ruler and pencil. So, you know, don't worry about that. Um, I might even put lines all over this one for you, actually. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to cut from one inch to two and a half. So we're going to start. So what that means is we're one inch in, one inch down. And we're going to start with our trimmer at one, like that. And then we're just going to cut down to two and a half. And then you don't do any more cuts. You lift your trimmer up. You move that along an inch so it goes to three and a half. Drop it back down again. And you're just going to cut half an inch to four. Okay. Lift it up. Go all the way down to eight and a half. Yeah. And you're just going to cut. Sorry, eight. Because you need the half inch. So down to eight, eight to eight and a half, lift it up to nine and a half, and then all the way down to 11. And we're going to do the other side as well, so you get the measurements again. So just spin it around, pop this at the one inch level there. Obviously, if you've got it on that side and you haven't got this extension bit, look on my trimmer, then just turn it around the other way. So I'll do it from the top because it makes it simple. So we've gone one inch in from the edge, one inch down, and because it's symmetrical, you can spin it. One to two and a half, cut, lift up. Three to three, <laughs> three and a half, get my teeth in, so three and a half to four, just half an inch, cut. So one to two and a half, three and a half to four, lift it up. I'm going to score just half an inch from eight to eight and a half. Lift it up. And then nine and a half to eleven. Nine and a half to eleven. Now we're going to spin it around the other way. And because this is symmetrical, it doesn't matter which way your pattern is at this stage or anything like that. Okay, so now we've, what I might do is spin this around actually rather than doing the measurements all the way along and extending my um, trimmer out, etc. But obviously you can extend yours out. So again, line up at one inch. And basically, where you've got these cut lines here, you're going to be making vertical cuts. Not on the middle two though, okay? So just the outer two lines. Don't touch these, these are just going to be scored in a minute. So just on this out one, so you've got a one inch cut, and you're going to cut from one down to five. So you're meeting that cut line there, one to five. You can spin it around and do the outside ones first. So let's just do that. Spin it around. One inch in, one inch to five. Just make sure your trimmer's lining up with those cuts. And you'll see if it's not free, you can free it, but you've got your outside edge. We're not going to do anything where these two cut lines are. Let me just pick that up and show you. So we've cut here and we've got another cut line there, but we're not going to do anything in this middle section, but we are going to make the same cut one to five on this one there. So the two inner points we're going to make a cut and I'll tell you what that measurement is so you just line up on your trimmer 
and that cut line is going to be at four there so from four you're going to cut one to five like that and then you've done the other half if it's gone through if not then you're going to have to finish that off like me I might just pull mine it's only a little half inch it's only a little half inch there so if you want to spin that around it'll probably be easier because then you only got to remember you're cutting downwards at one inch and then again at four and then you haven't got to remember all the measurements if you want to know them it's one four eight and eleven but it's easier to probably just remember two so just one to five like that then you just got a little half inch cut there just make sure it's gone all the way through there we go so what i'm now going to do is get those get my trimmer uh sorry that was my trimmer <laughs> get my scoreboard scoring boarding pop that down and then what you're going to do is where those little points are there you're just going to make score lines so two and a half and three and a half and it obviously just meets that line at two and a half and three and a half okay and then up again two and a half follow my guide and three and a half so we've got our scores on this half done and then we need to do them on the other side so they're going to come in at nine and a half and eleven do you remember those measurements from when we were cut before so we did sorry not nine and a half, eight and a half and nine and a half so eight and a half and nine and a half so basically where there's no cut line Okay, so where there's no cut line, but you're only scoring as far as what the cut line would have gone if you continued it. Otherwise, you're not going to have a flip flap. You're going to have a hole in your cup. So eight and a half and nine and a half. So you can see there, we've got our score lines here and here. So what happens with these, and it depends which way you want your pattern. So now we can decide which way we want the pattern. I'll do it floral so that you can see. So with the floral, it's, this one's going to come in okay so the that's the two and a half that's the three and a half so that one's going to come in and that one's going to go out and i'm not really making these firm at the moment because you might have to do some adjusting and then what we're going to do is same so the inside one the furthest one away comes backwards so the one nearest the edge goes out this one here comes back and the other one goes in so you've got mountain valley like that that's all it is and it's only little tiny scores there so what you'll see if you use double-sided card is you've already got your mat and layer now what i like to do and like i say if your cutting's a millimeter out or you know just a slight little piece out then it'll show so just hold those flat together so they're touching and then reinforce these score lines now okay we didn't do it just now but we're doing it so you can budge things a little bit when they're not fully burnished so just make sure that you've got this lined up and that this swing here there isn't like um you know that it's overlapping so it won't open so just make sure everything's all lined up nicely you can pull this back in a bit like i am there because the gap was a little bit too big there so you can adjust these so it's really nice to do so what you've got now is you've already got like a different color to your swings now i'm going to show you something else as well because this is important depending upon your actual um, paper that you're using so let's bring in a triple i'll just use my scissors actually so if your paper is quite thin you're going to be using this as a lever to open and this isn't really all that thick so what you can see is as i'm doing it and pushing it back it is bowing a little bit if i do it from above you probably see when i open it it's not got a lot of strength it's actually arcing so what I like to do is add a panel to the back and at this point if you decide that you prefer the papers to be around the other way you can just flip it over reinforce those folds the other way and you can have it that way so it's not too late to change your mind on how you want your design to be so that's really nice thing as well about it and nice and easy so because this was um, a score at two and a half if we double that it's five so the best thing to do is take a piece of paper that's double so it's like we've got the whole five here so we've got these two arms we're going to reinforce the back of them so they're two and a half wide by six so if you cut a piece it's five by six then grab your paper trimmer or if you're using a craft knife that's fine 
and then you're just going to do an inch border so you're just going to come in an inch all the way around like this and then up so at five so you're just going to go from one to five get a border we're going to actually make that one in uh, one inch frame so one to four on the top then to spin it around and it's going to go back to one to five like this spin it around one inch in one to four and then the middle section will pop out and you've got a frame now we're going to cut the five inch side not the six inch so we're going to make sure you've got five inches and you're going to cut it down to two and a half and you may need to trim this due to scores but this is giving you a really good base mark so you've got two pieces identical so you can keep that as well for a matting layer then um, what I do is I just now glue this to the back of that arm. If you wanted to, you could glue it to the front. You could, if you wanted to have the same colour, you could glue it to the front. You can just reinforce it in the same colour or you can switch it up and have the flowers on the back if you want. So lots of options if you're using double sided. I'm just going to reinforce it. It's more about the strength. So you can see here. What you need to do actually is offer it up and make sure it fits because sometimes with that um, little inch thing what you don't want is anything to show through this side okay so that's what you don't want so you can readjust it you can see there we've got a little bit showing so we can just easily just grab our scissors now before we've glued it it'd be a nightmare otherwise and just take that out like that and then we can just stick that on to there and that will give us lots more strength this is on the front side so we'll do it on the back and we'll do it that way so just flip it over and then as you see when you move things around because they've been um cut do you see that you've got an edge there sticking out now you can either trim that edge off at the end or alternatively what i like to do is just lose a bit now on the two little pieces here because accuracy isn't really all that important because it's around the back so if you were going to do the contrast colour around the back as well, that probably helps you see if you're right on the middle. So you can see there, that's going to be just fine. So we can glue that down into place. And now you've got a double strength here to help with the opening. This is not compulsory and it depends on the cardstock that you're using. Now for the inside, what I did with mine was because when they're closed, what you're seeing is that section there. And when you open up, you've only got that. What I did was I put my matting layer just the width of this, just under, so you can just see a little bit of the flower. You can obviously have more border. If you want to do this, it's four inch square. Okay, so just a four inch square mat in there. If you want to mat these, they're three by four inches. So you can obviously do that, it's three by four. You've got that spare bit that you cut out just now, which would be a perfect size as well. From adding a layer and onto there that we cut out from our frame at the back or if you want to do the white and then some more borders things like that it's how you decorate it so the panels i used were four by four the next square size down was three and a quarter square these are three inches by four and if you want to go down they'll be two and three quarters by three and three quarters i always mat and layer a quarter of an inch either end so i hope that will make sense for you guys and you can see there we've got our lovely double swing card so I'll see you again real soon and thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.